Green Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I'm working on the Little Giant Incubator today. We blew a thermostat. This is the second thermostat I blew, and this is the one that caused the big fail of all those duck eggs and chicken eggs that I was trying to hatch. So, I ordered a new digital thermometer that's programmable on eBay. I paid about $17 for this, so we're going to go ahead and install this in the incubator, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and remove this back shield cover just by this one little Phillips screw. We're going to take that off and set it aside, and we're going to remove these slides because I'm going to use those to uh, put it into place. Uh, this thermometer cord, I am actually going to shorten significantly, so we're going to reduce the amount of cord we're going to be using here. I need to go get a uh, small flat tip screwdriver, uh, because right here is where the screws are that you're going to loosen to and tighten to put your lines in there. I also need a serrated edged knife to be able to cut the hole appropriate to the size of this thermometer. So let's get started. First of all I want to figure out the placement on where exactly I want to place that thermometer inside this uh, incubator. So I'm going to note that there's the wires, the power cord that goes right here, the main element, the heating element wires are right here, and then these are the fan uh, wires that are right here. So I'm going to figure out what exactly it is I need. And I've decided I'm going to head and place this thermometer right about here. So I'm going to flip it over. And then I'm going to place the thermometer right where I figured I'm going to use it. I'm going to draw a, a line where I'm going to use the serrated knife to cut into there and make my hole. Now I'm going to carefully cut my hole. and my hole is cut. Now this part of the thermometer, I'm going to go ahead and remove this wire. I have my little tool kit here I've used over the years for repairing uh, computers. And it just so happens I have a small tipped screwdriver that will actually work in there. Give those a couple of turns and just pull that right on out of there. Now we're going to go ahead and play, uh, drop it in place. The screen is going to be facing this way and we're just going to pop and drop it right down in place. There's going to be some trimming involved. Slides 
falls down just like so. Now on the back side, I'm going to go ahead and put these little pieces back on because those are what holds it into place. So you'll notice that this thermometer does not rise any lower than the fan so it stays in even space away from the egg turner once you get it set in there. Now we're going to go ahead and try to wire in our circuits. Okay, let's wire this beast. Here is the wiring diagram. Your power cord is going to come in right here. You screw one line in there, you screw another line in there, so this powers the device. Your temperature probe just comes out here, you got two wires on your little thermometer, and it comes out right here, that's it, just plug in your two temperature probes. Your heating element for your incubator, you have a wire coming out here and a wire coming out here. Now, this wire right here, you're going to attach it over here. You j don't touch it there, but you're going to attach it here. That's where you're going to attach that wire on that uh, heating element. Your other wire, you're going to go ahead and attach it to number six right here. Now, you got to get the power from number two to number five, so what you can do is just take and put a jumper wire from here to here and just tie those two together. So this is actually your switch which turns uh, the heating element on. The one side is already hooked to the power coming in and the other side is a switch which is activated by your temperature control. And then once that switch is closed then it allows power to flow through. And once it opens. So that's what you want here is you want this power cord to here and a jumper over to here and then it comes out on this. Now if you have a fan on your uh, little giant incubator you you want to put your fan wires you have two wires coming out of your fan and this is going to be relatively simple. Just attach one wire to position one and the other wire to position two. So when your plug wire, your power wire comes in, it goes through and comes back out. So it's connected right there. So that's the wiring diagram for the STC-1000 in accommodating a little giant incubator. And we'll put our shield on. And the little giant incubator is now wired and ready to uh, try out. Okay, it has four keys here to program. You've got an on a power button and you've got a set switch and a, cal a calibration switch up and down. So just following the instructions on how to calibrate it, I went ahead and set it for heat at 37.5 degrees uh, Celsius with a variation of a 0.3 degrees Celsius plus or minus to try to maintain as close to that 27.5 degrees Celsius as possible. 
So that's my tip here uh, from Jerry at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm for re uh, an inexpensive replacement for your thermometer on a little giant incubator. And this gives you a little bit more accurate control and moves you up into the 22nd or 21st century <laughs> with digital um, um, programming. So please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you guys on the next video. And thank you for tuning in on my money-saving tips here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.